Hey guys, I hope you had a wonderful 2016. Thanks again for your support. Um, you know, I had a great year. Um, many personal and professional achievements. And of course, it came with its own share of failures. And I got to, you know, I got to learn a lot from it. So again, it, it was a mixed bag, but it, it is a great year. So I love 2016. Um, and so here we are in on January 2nd, 2017. 2017, uh, where did 2016 go? Yeah, it was a blur. Um, as many of you might have felt, it was pretty busy. Um, so let me just talk a little bit about kind of what I do before we jump into the agenda. You know, as many of you know, uh, my day job is to run a large product management function around software and cloud and services. Um, but really, my weekend job is to help all of you. You know, I'm, I'm really excited that, you know, I'm starting to help friends to have a great career. And um, I help with career coaching, counseling, uh, help with job search, help with networking. So please uh, reach out to me if you need any help. This is all pro bono. I don't charge anybody for any of these services. Having been doing that for the last seven plus years now, um, I think it was probably time for me to make this a little bit more public and make this a little bit more inclusive in the Facebook community. So this is my attempt at you know, basically working with all of you guys to um, uh, basically help all of you and all of the audience out there. Uh, let's talk about 2017. Um, I wish you guys a year full of abundance. I wish you joy. I wish you success in 2017. Um, uh, we, we have uh, about three things on the agenda. Um, one is what are the keys to success in 2017 where I think the job market and careers in general are headed um, uh, for 2017. I also want to talk about um, as you look at updating your resume for the new year, uh, what are the things that uh, you should think about uh, as you update your resume? And then uh, I would love to get your questions throughout the session, so please keep them coming, and I would love to answer those as they come in. All right, sounds good. Uh, we'll, we'll dive right into it. Um, let's talk about 2017 and what's going on in the, in the business world in general uh, around 2017. You know, if you, if you think and if you look around uh, things are changing pretty rapidly. Um, you know, technology is changing really rapidly. Businesses are changing. From my vantage point here in Silicon Valley, you know, many of our businesses are innovating. The pace of that innovation is, you know, really strong. Uh, I, I see that some of the businesses are, you know, really killing it, uh, and some of the business are kind of reacting to all of these changes. Let's just call these changes and put them in the category of digital. And, you know, there's this flywheel in motion around digital transformation. Um, some of the companies that are really spinning this flywheel really fast, uh, they're really killing it in the market, really innovating. And some of the companies are just starting to explore this a little bit. And, uh, you know, they're, they're looking for opportunities to transform. Um, and quite frankly, they're getting success and some of them will continue to explore this. Um, and so if you look at what's going on with digital, there's a lot of, lot of uh, momentum around accelerating this in 2017. So for example, any of you guys that are involved in data, big data analytics, that's a huge market. 2017, we'll see even more acceleration in that market. Uh, there's a lot more work going on in cloud, whether it's public or private cloud. There is a lot more going, going on in mobile. Um, so there's a lot more trends that are going to be accelerating further in 2017. So those are the changes that are coming down the pike for us. Uh, but I think in addition to all of the technology changes, there's a lot more business changes that are going to be coming in in 2017. Um, for example, um, most of the companies around us are going to be rethinking the way they do business very fundamentally. Um, so for example, uh, if you look around you in your business, if you look at your sales, your marketing, your supply chain, uh, operations, finance, HR, IT, all of the functions around you, 
these things are going to change fundamentally in 2017 and the rate of change is going to accelerate even more. So again, 2017 is going to be even more dynamic. It's even going to be even more fun. Um, so let's, let's talk a little bit about what does this mean for you in terms of success in 2017. Uh, so let's talk about what can help you become even more successful and take your game to the next level from a career perspective in 2017. Let's move from kind of what's going to happen in 2017 into what can you do in 2017 to accelerate your career. Um, I want to leave with, you, leave with you five things that you should be thinking about as you look for your career growth in 2017. Number one, and this is super important guys, think about how can you reinvent yourself. It's about changing yourself, putting yourself in a place of what would you like to become rather than who you are today. And think about reinventing yourself and moving towards that new you um, and this is a continuous process. Um, I always like the example of someone like a Madonna. You know, Madonna, the pop, uh, the pop diva, she reinvented herself 15 times. Um, guys, you know, this is, uh, our careers are never, you know, stagnant. They're always dynamic. So think about how can you reinvent yourself and how can you, how can you reinvent yourself in a role that you'd like to, you know, take up. Um, I always talk about talk to a lot of you in terms of you know promotion po prospects or getting ahead in your career, going to the next level, etc. Um, one quick tip that I can give you in terms of reinventing is changing your role. So think about that for a second. Like you don't need to you know go into a brand new job or a brand new promotion like right off the bat. But what you could absolutely do right off the bat is change your role. So maybe your role is X. Think about adding certain responsibilities, certain, certain aspects of your role that you did not have before. And that will help you to kind of reinvent yourself and put yourself in a new light, in a new role, pretty much now in 2017. The second thing I really want, want, uh, want to recommend is network. Network like crazy. Um, as you move ahead in your career and you add years of experience in your career, your network will take you to places where you've never been before. So more than your education, more than your, you know, your experience, your network will really transform your career. It will open up doors and windows of opportunities that did not exist before. So please, please network. Uh, please make sure that you continue to grow um, as, a, as a professional and continue to build those networks. There could be multiple networks out there. Be active on LinkedIn. Um, you know, many years ago, I had this notion that, you know, um, social networks are only for the people, you know, I should only include people that I know really well and all of the rest of the folks are, uh, you know, I should not include in my social network. I was wrong. You know, you should know you should basically add more people in your social network, especially on LinkedIn. Um, also, um, one quick tip for you to grow your network in 2017 is every single person that you meet, whether you meet that person in a business meeting or otherwise, add that person to your LinkedIn. More important than adding that person to your Facebook is adding that person to your LinkedIn to grow your professional network. Okay, that was the second topic, which is networking. Third, a key to success in 2017 is learning. And think about what you'd like to learn. And continuous learning is really how you can enhance your career prospects. Whether you're, you've been with the same company for many, many years, or you've been with a company brand new, there's opportunities for you to learn and see how you can expand your, your fundamental skills, whether those are hard skills, business skills, or soft skills, Think about what you can learn and what you can actually invest in yourself. That is the investment that always, always, always pays off. So think about what you can learn and progress. You know, in 2017, quite frankly, there is no excuse for not learning. Uh, we have so many online resources to learn. Uh, there really isn't any excuse for saying, you know, I did not take up that skill 
or I did not learn that skill or I did not learn that new area that is so cool and so hot right now. There is absolutely no excuse for you to not learn today in 2017, given the, num the number of opportunities that you have. Number four is um, engage. Um, when, whether you're reinventing yourself or learning, you can, you can do that in a vacuum by yourself, or you can actually engage with others. Engage with your network, engage with people that you would like to you know, be, be friends with and figure out how you can engage with others proactively versus reactively. Proactiveness is what will give you even more success in 2017. And then last but not the least is time. You know, I've, I was talking to many of you over the holidays and talking about how you wanna spend your 2017 and probably one of the most important decisions that you will make in 2017 is gonna be around time. Um, you know, time is probably the most important resource that you have. It is not money, it is time. You know why? Because money, if you spend it, you can always earn back money. But when you spend time, you cannot take that time back to you, even if you pay somebody a whole lot of money. So time is your most important resource. So in 2017, use your time uh, most judiciously, make, make better calls with your time, see where you want to spend your time, and make sure you're investing in yourself in terms of time. Um, those were keys to success in 2017. Reinvent yourself, network like crazy, learn, engage with your community, and then make, make sure you take, uh, take advantage of time and make the most of your time. Did you guys like the 2017 Keys to Success? Please comment and let me know. Also, feel free to ask questions as we go through this chat, and then I'd be happy to answer, answer those questions for you.